That was Prove Me Wrong by The Sound off of their 1987 album, Thunder Up. I've never listened to The Sound before. Um, that was some pretty standard kind of like new wave stuff. Had some cool elements to it. Um, like I like the, the saxophone in there, the cool like glam rock guitar solo in the middle. Uh, maybe it was better than okay. That was pretty good. We're listening to that because we have a song from The Smiths from 1987 up in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 56 of the Smiths Tournament today, and that is match 15 in round 3. If you're new here and you're wondering what the Smiths Tournament is, let me fill you in. We took every single song that the Smiths released, and we threw them into a single elimination-style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until one remains in the end, and that's the very best song that the Smiths released. Um, we're going to be starting off today with Never Had No One Ever, which I really, really enjoy, which was released in 1986 on The Queen Is Dead. Last round, it took down Girlfriend in a Coma, and in round one, it went up against You Just Haven't Earned It Yet, Baby. Its competition today is Stop Me If You Think You've Heard This One Before, which was released in 1987 on Strange Ways, Here We Come. Last round, it defeated the kind of long instrumental, The Dre's Train, and in round one, it got a buy. Songs are roughly the same length. Um, I really love Never Had No One Ever, so we'll have to see how it goes. Already got kind of a bias going in. Here's Never Had No One Ever. Oh, 
I love it. It's basically like Blue Eyed Soul. Um, just really like cool guitars. I love the vocals in that one. Just overall, the 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 vibes and the music in there are just something that's right up my alley. Um, I love Never Had No One Ever. It's gonna be hard to stop me choosing that. Here's your chance. Stop me if you think you've heard this one before. Really cool instrumental outro on that one. Uh, that one's so good. That's a really good effort. Both of those songs are really great songs. Like that one has uh, a lot of great like humor in the lyrics, but I love the singing in it too. It's not as soulful though. But the music is a lot more upbeat. That's for sure. It's uh, it's fun. It's a fun song. It's kind of like. Uh, a precursor to Britpop, it sounds like. Um, Britpop's a pretty good sound. But I think I have to go with Never Had No One Ever. Um, I'm just a sucker for that kind of song. Uh, I really like the, the soul sound to it, basically. And uh, Morrissey's voice is good enough at this point to handle the, uh, the task to do it well. 
Um, he's not pulling out any of that weird falsetto stuff, really. He's just doing things that are within his range, and it sounds good. Solid effort from Stop Me If You've Heard This One Before, though. That song was great, and I'm sad to see it go. This is a little early in the tournament to lose that song, I would say. Like this video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content, and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. That's all the Smiths tournament action we've got going for the day, but please join me tomorrow when we get down to some more of the Smiths and the Magnetic Fields Part 2 tournament action. Until then, I hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.